In the previous real-time video I showed you how to mix skin tones, but more than that, how to easily achieve a wide range of tones from three primary colors. I will link that video down below for you. Now we are ready to sketch a portrait so that we can paint it in the following lesson. I will show you how I go about sketching a quick portrait, show you a few tips on how to better find mistakes in your proportions and correct them before painting. And the video is designed in a way that allows you to grab your watercolor sketchbook and join me. Let's paint a portrait study in my Stratmore sketchbook. It is also a pulp paper or a cellulose paper, so this is not cotton. It should be good enough for the study. I will first secure the page with this binder clip uh, so that the page does not buckle. And first we need to sketch. I just want to do a very quick and light sketch. I'm going to use my polychromos. This is colored pencil. I'm going to sketch with light lines if possible so that I can fix it because these colored pencils, they have addition of either wax or oils depending on which brand you're using and it is kind of hard to erase unless it's a very light mark. Yeah, I do not want to do anything too elaborate, just a quick, quick sketch. First, I'm gonna need to figure out how big do I want the portrait to be. Probably something like this. All right. I'm just going to try to figure out the, the large shapes first. And I'm going to show you how to correct your sketch before you start painting so that you can be as accurate as possible even when you are doing just like practice sketches. It's usually very helpful to divide the, the entire face into thirds. Uh, ignore this line now because that's going to be the line where the eyes are going to be positioned. So. That's one third of this axe, and there's another. Approximately where this middle third ends here is going to be the eyebrows. So I can just lightly, very, very lightly, like mark that here are going to be eyebrows. Here should be the bottom of the nose, however, it's the, the face is slightly angled so. It's just gonna be something like this. Sometimes the middle line of the mouth is in the middle of this third, but lately I've, it's been working for me rather to also divide this last segment into thirds and here is like the bottom of the lips and here's the middle. Yeah, this should work. It already looks like a human. <laughs> yeah, now Let's now try to find the larger shapes. That's gonna be... and now the nose is kinda too low. No, this is not good. I have to fix this. Since this is a like three quarters portrait, I have to make sure that this eye it gets larger and wider than this one. This one we see sort of from a perspective, and so it's gonna be slightly like shorter. And also the shape of the mouth, it's something like, something very similar happens to the mouth.
Now I'm going to try to like just lightly sketch the main uh, shape that would represent the, the hair. Yeah, and this eye, this is not quite accurate. I think that this line was quite all right, but I positioned the 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 iris like kind of weirdly, and I would like to have the iris clean because the eyes of this model they are. Hmm. This one needs to be smaller. Uh, they are blue, so they will be light. Yeah. shorter in here that's just things that I feel like I need to fix okay we could we could now check it slightly better I, it, it gets very hard to for me to see uh, the difference and compare to the reference at this point so one more thing if we if we led the the line to her mask of the face so here and the line where the eyebrows is here in between would lie an ear <laughs> part of it is covered by the hairstyle or the hairs but yeah that's where it lies generally this is the sketch and I'm gonna try to show you a little trick that I'm using sometimes to check the sketch if it's correct and to help me check the proportions. So I'll just quickly snap a picture of my sketch. Yeah, there it is. There is a picture of my sketch. So first of all, you can, when you look at your phone, you can see more clearly, because it's very small, you can see more clearly if the face like makes sense or not, if there are any like irregularities that would make it crooked. This is gonna give you a better overview that you have when looking at the sketch in person. It's something like when you're sketching, you can't quite see the flaws of your own sketch but when you're looking at the video uh, of someone else sketching you can see the flaw immediately that's what happens to me quite often <laughs> also try not to spend too long on this we're just going to quickly compare it with reference i'm gonna snap a picture of my reference by the way I rarely print my references, even though lots of painters, professional painters, they always recommend to print out your reference so that you can compare colors because the, uh, like uh, screens, they have glare and everything. I get it, 100%. I just can't deal with wasting so much paper. And so I fight the glare. Maybe my portraits suffer for it. But I always have a reference photo on my iPad nearby not always, but often, if I need the reference. And you can find the link to my Pinterest board with these references down below in the description of the video. So this is just a quick snap of the reference that I was drawing. And now you just quickly, very, very quickly, try to jump between these two and you will discover mistakes like this. All right, so something that I can already see, this. This needs fixing. This line is very bad and it's quite, quite important with this type of portrait. This is gonna be... this needs to be better. What what else? Oh, the, the eye isn't perfect. The eye is not so great. 
So this is the part of the part of the nose gets like this. It's also very useful to have a smaller reference than I have on my screens. Like this, it works better, I guess. Another thing, I need to fix the eye. Yeah, this is bad. I just want to like lower this part a little. I can cover it up with paint, but it's better if I like dealt with this issue at the stage of the sketch. It's gonna be probably better. Another thing. This is a weird angle for the eye and so that makes it very hard to sketch properly. Yeah, sorry that I picked, that I did not pick a reference that would make this easier. Like a frontal view, for example. And that gets also sometimes difficult. I'm gonna check the... Luckily, the, the proportion of the of the forehead is not too bad, it's not that off, of that, not that much off. I could live with this. The nose, like since this is a delicate female we don't have to draw like every pore on the nose just slightly suggested here even there is like a lost edge between the light here and light over here so we don't like need to we don't need to uh, make such a hard line there but we need to know its position we don't need to uh, make such a hard line there but we need to know its position so i guess this is fine that brings me to this eye again. This is a small sized paper and also a very tight area here. So only gives me so much space to correct my mistakes. It's better to draw this properly the first time. <laughs> yeah, and I feel like this eye, this other eye is slightly lower than it needs to be. So I correct a lot. That's fun. It's just slightly. Let's just increase it slightly. Okay. That could work, maybe. Oh, we need to snap another photo of the sketch because it's been corrected so much. And now we flip. Okay, so a few last touch-ups. I think this brows is like too high. So it needs to go lower and slightly shorter. Let's not forget about the, the side part of the face. And uh, also here maybe a bit more bumpy and curvy. <laughs> Thank you. 
and I'm gonna also fix the neck that looks slightly off. hint that this is the material that these clothes are made of might look kind of nice and the hairs we can experiment with the hairs also once we have a brush in our hand here I want a bit straighter line maybe even here maybe I don't like the curves yeah, this sketchbook can actually hold a lot, can, can withstand quite a lot. I think we have our sketch. It took me more time than usual. But I just wanted... I was under pressure. <laughs> yeah, okay, we have a sketch. Let's just let's deal with it and color it. In the next video lesson, also in real time, so that's going to be long and get ready for that. We are painting a portrait together from start to finish. I hope you can learn something from my process and also that it's going to be a fun experience for you, if nothing else. So I'll see you again this weekend to finish this.